All right, in this video, we're just going to combine uh, wind-driven and rotary currents, which is basically we're going to take two currents, put them together, and see what the uh, resultant overall current will be. So uh, we're going to need a, um, uh, you know, we could certainly do this using trigonometry, but I think it's a heck of a lot easier to do it on the maneuvering board. So I'm going to use a maneuvering board, and I'm going to use some triangles, okay? So uh, what is the combined current at Nantucket Shoals if one of the currents, the rotary current, is 0, 0.70 0 at 0 0.8, and the wind-driven current is 2.49 at 0.3. Now, remember, with uh, vectors, the, uh, you know, a, a current is a vector. It has direction and magnitude, okay? So it has an orientation, in this case, 0, 0.70, 0, and it has a speed. That's the magnitude, 0 0.8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot that, uh, that first current. I'm going to plot from the center. Okay, so I'm going to put my pencil down right there in the very center. I'm going to take my triangle. I'm going to just gently, let, well, actually, there it is, 0, 7, 0. Okay, but anyway, uh, I want to make the scale pretty big. So I'm going to call each one of these 0. 0.1. So 0. 0.1, 0. 0.2, 0. 0.3, 0. 0.4, 0. 0.5, 0. 0.6, 0. 0.7, 0. 0.8. Okay, 0. 0.1, 0. 0.2, 0. 0.3, 0. 0.4, 0. 0.5, 0. 0.6, 0. 0.7, 0. 0.8. Uh, okay, great. So uh, I can just, I'm going to draw my current in now, all right? And uh, there's that, just right along that line, great. So that is the direction of the first current. Now the second current, so this is where it started, that's where it ends. So um, that was, you know, essentially that. So now my second current is 249. Uh, 249 is going to be this direction. It's almost opposite that. So it's going to be going uh, uh, 249 at 0.3. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that from the end of the uh, of the first vector. So it started here, ended there. This one starts here and ends there. I'm going to start it at the end of the first vector. So what I got to do is find 249 at 0.3. So I'm going to go ahead, ahead like this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get uh, 249 which is about right there. And I'm just gonna slide that over, all right, to my uh, other, uh, slide that over so I can intersect that other line there. All right. And uh, there is 249 about right there. I'll put my pencil down, slide my triangle up against it. Okay, great. All right, now, uh, what I need to do now is, uh, that is way longer than 0.3. So what I got to do is measure 0.3 on that. So I need my dividers. So okay, here are my dividers. Now I got to just measure 0.3, and I can do it in any direction. All right. So uh, you know, there's 0.3 right there. Oh, just a tad more. Okay, 0.3. So now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put it on the end of the first vector, and there it is, 0.3. Okay, great. So this spot right here, I can erase most of this now. All right. So this was the second current. So what's my resultant? Well, most of it's in that direction, a little bit back this way. So uh, my resultant is going to be from here to there. All right. And that direction to me looks to be about, so if I would go like this, that would be my resultant current. And that looks to me to be about 70, 71, 72, 0, 72. <clears throat> and the velocity is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So I, I, it looks to me like my resultant is going to be 0, 72 at approximately uh, 0 0.5 knots. And that is the answer to that problem.